Thank you very much for your time, people. Um, I'm here unusually not on behalf of my company, but on behalf of an open source project, which makes a pleasant change. So today, I'd like to talk to you about Open React. Why am I talking to you about this? What is React? Does anybody here, who's familiar with React? Quick show of hands, please. That's actually more than usual. I'm happy. <laughs> right. So uh, regarding the slides, uh, what is React? React itself is a NoSQL database, um, much like many others in the market, MongoDB, Cassandra, many products like that. It's based on Amazon's Dynamo paper, which was built, written many, many years ago. React was based on this and has developed over the years. It's a highly available fault-tolerant system that is eventually consistent. I say eventually consistent through Cap Theorem. You can only have one. Um, you can only cover two of the three smoothly. Uh, React decides to be eventually consistent, so we eventually cover all three. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I shall continue then. Um, it's a massively scalable database, and this is where React's true power comes to shine. Um, even way back in 2014, we had one, one company using it. They had over 14 petabytes of data way back in 2014. This is before React developed more. So it's a great product, which um, has had a checkered history. So why open React? Why now? Why are we doing this? This is probably why people, you know, you know you've heard this React stuff. React's dead. You throw it in the news. And that's where a lot of conversations finish. However, the difference is, in two, well, I'll give you the history quickly. In 2017, due to gross mismanagement by venture capitalist Basho, the company who created React folded up and died, which was very sad. Fortunately, Bet365, oh, hang on, my slides are playing up. My images aren't showing. Why aren't my images showing? Never mind. Fortunately, in um, 2017, Bet365, a British uh, betting company, bought the IP rights to Basho, sorry, to uh, React and made everything open source. So everybody thought, great, an open source community project we can revive and bring back to life. And, you know, initially it was great. In 2019, React KV226, the first open source version of the key value store, was released. And everybody was happy. It looked like things were going forwards. From there, another successful 26 releases later, in 2023, Bet365 suddenly said, no, we'd like to take control. So Bet365 actually went over, took over the repos. We weren't allowed to make any more commits. There were a lot of pull requests that were pending, but everything stopped. And they said they wanted to take everything in-house and then slowly bring in the open source community as they published their things, which in theory made sense, but we waited. And we waited, and we waited some more, and then we waited a bit more, and then we got bored. So eventually what happened is, um, this is really tiny. Um, what happened is that a few major players came to create together, and we created Open React, which is the new version to take around. This is now completely open source. We've escaped the control of third parties. This is now essentially React run as it should be by an open source community with people from all walks of life contributing towards it. Um, who is Open React? Well, first of all, we have the blessing of the Erlang Foundation. Oh, Erlang Linux Foundation, sorry, let's get that right. Um, these they're not contributing any money towards Open React, but what they are doing is allowing us to put it under umbrella, which makes it safe, clear, and open source organization without ties to any particular contributor in, uh, directly. And the reason I say that is there are some seriously big contributors. There's a large American Fortune 500 company who have incre um, created incredible amounts of code, but they don't want to be named, so they're just listed like that. But it's not their product, it's open source. We have a national health service, an entire country's national health service is contributing code into Open React and helping it make it the wonderful product it is. From there, there are many other smaller private companies, my company included, who provide various services. They use it in-house, maybe like us, they provide enterprise-grade support for React users. There are many different people who contribute it. And finally, there are a number of private individuals who have no particular reason to help work on React other than it makes them happy to do so. And that's great. These are wonderful people. This is true open source stuff. We've been dreaming about all these years since Basho went under. So, 
For people who are also slightly excited about this announcement, this is actually a proper open source version of React. Well, open React, we can do exciting stuff with. The slides are all really poor on branding simply because this is really new. Open React was only agreed just over a week ago. And we have no official branding, we have no marketing, so there's literally default things. Anyway, how to contribute? We have GitHub, we have Slack, which is uh, the shared one you can talk to. You can use React itself, give feedback to anybody who's part of the community. And finally, please talk about us on social media. Check out Open React once we actually get a presence there, now I think about it. But please, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Spread the word.